Yeah, I imagine it must be like excruciating like, to make you furious um, when you are tinkering on hardware and you try to figure something out, but there is no documentation, no way for you to actually get to the source file and, and to figure out what's actually going on. Like That must cost so many nerves. Yeah, but um, I mean, there's been products that I've worked on where, you know, there's a new technology. Um, you, you can buy something in and and you you do like a reverse engineering, you know, you you, you um, use like oscilloscopes and you can probe around and if you're good, you can usually work out how some new technology is working and you can learn a lot quite quickly with that and then uh, find that way how to adapt it for some other use and stuff. So it, although you don't have the the sort of the source code for the design, you can. In a way, it's, I guess, the probing around, you can sketch out the, the schematic and find out how it works, and it's almost like decompiling, you know? So we, we always have that option. It's probably Yeah, kind of like reverse engineering. Yeah, it's probably a lot easier to do that in hardware than it is actually in software. Oh, that's interesting. Why is that? Um, just because you can, you can take, it's something physical, you can, you can take it apart, you can look at it, you can see what's there. It's only once you get down to the sort of silicon level where everything's inside a chip that you, it's that then it becomes almost impossible. But um, you know, you can see all the resistors, capacitors, chips. You can see what the signals are doing. So it's not a it's not a completely closed box. Um, I guess with software, there's lots of techniques to prevent people from doing things like that. But sometimes, you know, like closed software, even if you can maybe decompile the source code, they'll scramble all the function names uh, it's called obfuscation to make it very very difficult so um yeah i don't know in my opinion it's easier to do it with hardware to reverse engineer but 